Tokyo's Gurnal Scott. California regulators approving unprecedented mandatory cutbacks for water consumption. The state struggling with a historic drought. California's governor has asked everyone to cut water use by 20 percent, but in March it only went down by about 4 percent compared to 2013. Some areas are being asked to cut by as much as 36 percent. Fox Radio's Jessica Rosenthal. Talk about a strong work ethic. A pizza delivery man in Kentucky who was robbed and stabbed still managed to get the pizza delivered. Fox News. We report. You decide. Fox News on your time. The Fox News iPad app is ready to go with all the great features from foxnews.com and our iPhone app optimized specifically for your iPad. Watch the latest clips from your favorite Fox News shows. Personalize the app by creating your own newscast using the video playlist. Listen to Fox News Radio live. Get local weather forecasts. And it's all free. Go to foxnews2go.mobi. That's foxnews, the number two, go.mobi. Some people would call him a loser. He ran for state office. He was beaten. He started a business. He failed. He ran for Congress. He lost. He was nominated for vice president. He lost again. But he knew only those who never tried are the real losers. And Abraham Lincoln was no loser. Persistence. Pass it on. From the Foundation for a Better Life. And Danny Warfel here. Get moving with Florida Credit Union's fast and easy loan approval process. Let Florida Credit Union start up a new car loan for you today. No more waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. With a strong financial team behind you, you can enjoy great rates and fast approvals. It's all about personalized service and a streamlined process. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Shop at Shannon Roth Collection for your special sum on this Mother's Day. We'll guide you to the perfect gift to make you a winner in your lady's eyes. We have hobo handbags, four new cutting-edge jewelry lines, six new apparel lines, shoes that own the go favorite as well, chocolate. And don't forget, we have free gift wrapping to make your shopping experience a breeze at Shannon Roth Collection. The Shannon Roth Collection located on the historic square in downtown Ocala. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9:30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 840-0750. That's 840-0750. Wow, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Who did this? PB Tiki's and more, of course. Now I have a Tiki Hut for shade, and I can enjoy the sounds of my cascading fountain while feeding my koi fish in my own pond. To even fix my fence and redid all my landscaping. Nice to see a professional, reliable, family-owned business. Yes, PB Tiki's is the natural Florida Tiki builder and water features designer. With free estimates, PB Tiki's is licensed and insured. Call 352-877-3307 for your very own Tiki Hut and more. That's 352-877-3307. PB Tiki's. Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-C-A News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. Visit the W-O-C-A website at www.woca.com. The most trusted name in news, Fox News, every half hour, only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM, The Source. Thank you, Dan. 25 minutes before 8 o'clock, a little bit overcast. What is the weather calling for? 67 degrees right now. Today, we do have rain mentioned in the forecast. Looks like partly cloudy skies and rain. Uh, tomorrow, it looks like partly cloudy skies. Highs around 90 tomorrow. A little bit cool uh, tonight and tomorrow night, like 61. 
That's not really cool. It's comfortable. Uh, Friday, things warm up a little bit in the lower 90s by Friday. And then the weekend looks like the low to mid 90s, both Saturday and Sunday. So there you go. Nice. All right. So before we do our little debate thing here, um, there was something in the news yesterday I thought that was kind of interesting. The... the um, uh, United States and Cuba were recently issued, let's see, ferry ferry service, let's see, licenses allowing ferry service between the United States and Cuba were recently issued by the U.S. Treasury Department's Office of Foreign Asset Control. Oh wow. My. The lifting of the ban on ferries comes as President Obama works to thaw relations with Havana. At least mm-hmm. two Florida-based lines said they had received licenses to operate ferry routes routes mm-hmm. between ports in Florida and Cuba. They say it would be a nine-hour boat ride. Oh, my gosh. Uh, wow. The U.S. ban on tourist travel on the island remains in effect, so as of right now, the ferry service will only benefit those who don't already need special permission to go to Cuba. Mm-hmm. But you uh, still have to have a passport. I guess that would be Cuban Americans, huh? Yeah. Who are visiting? You need a passport. You need a passport. I right? would think. I don't know. Yeah. But, but isn't it interesting? A nine-hour ferry ride. Well, that's a nine-hour ferry. Nah. Can, can you take a ferry to the Bahamas? No. I I, I haven't heard of one. Huh. I mean, you can take a cruise ship to the Bahamas in an airplane, but <laughs> well, yeah, I know. I'd rather take a plane. To the Cuba, not to a fi- nine hours. Would you hours take your car across the water? Nine hours. What? Nine hours. Would no, you do that's... this? Nine hours. No, not not a ferry ride. <laughs> I take a plane. I'd take a plane. What are you nuts? <laughs> Gee, people are that. nuts. <laughs> I took the ferry from Bridgeport, Connecticut, to Long Island one time, and it was great. Uh-huh. I mean, I, I thought it was great, but I think it was. Maybe it maybe a half long. hour? No, yeah. it wasn't that long. Yeah. I can't imagine being on that kind of a boat for nine yeah. hours. And that would that, that would average out to 10 miles an hour. I mean, cruise ships travel faster than that. <laughs> Gee, you know, just, just get a, a mini cruise ship. That's true, 10 miles an hour. Zip, zip, zip back and forth. I mean, gosh. All right, well, all right, well that's, there's no debate there, I guess. It's just, it's just an interesting piece of news. All right. Uh, all right, let's talk about this. Um there is talk, uh, th- this, just kind of recap what I said earlier, because now we're actually into it. On Sunday, it's Mother's Day. We celebrate mothers. Yes. On Saturday, a new thing, I don't know if it's official, but we had a guest on the other day, and it was a very sweet idea, really, to talk about birth mothers. Uh, birth Mother's Day is Saturday. Birth mothers, just to clear up what that means, is um, a lady who has given up her her biological child. Mm-hmm to another family uh, to raise because she feels like she can't or or would like to not raise it. Mm -hmm. Um, Birth parents, uh, birth parents' privileges is now a discussion. And that doesn't just include the mother, it includes the father, the biological father and the biological mother of the child. At least the father is finally included. Now, but but here's the thing, and I, I am so... I, I'm not torn on this one at all. I know exactly how I mm-hmm. feel on this one. Um, if you if you relinquish your rights to your child, you have not relinquished your all of your rights according to statutory law in some states. I'm going to quote from the one in Ohio. Okay. Okay. The one in Ohio says, and here's the, the quote, residual parental rights, privileges, and responsibilities, including the privilege of reasonable visitation, consent to adoption, the privilege to determine the child's religious affiliation, and the responsibility for support. That's, that's what the quote says. Okay. So now they're arguing, does that mean religiously unaffiliated? Mm-hmm. Now, I don't, what, I, what I'm not clear about is, are you supposed to make this decision before or after the child is actually in the adopted family's care? Mm-hmm. The way it looks to me, and, and I'll read you why I think this, um, the, the Ohio Court of Appeals said that you can, as a birth parent, um, <sighs> Express your opinion. I'm trying to think how to word this. You can, as a, as a birth parent, express your opinion to the adopted parents that they are expected to then honor your opinion that your child, your child that they are raising, 
should be a Baptist Mm. or should be a Lutheran or should be a Catholic or should be Jewish or should be Muslim or should be what else is out there, Buddhist or whatever. Yeah. Or should have no religion at all, should not be exposed to any religion at all. You are, according to the way I understand the debate, now, it doesn't mean it was decided, and that's the whole thing. It's not decided, but but it's being talked about. And, and there's a lot of people on the side of saying, look, you're the birth parents. You should have a right to say what your child oh, is exposed gee. to oh, in the care of the adopted parents. I don't agree with that at all. Uh, that birth parent is, doesn't want to have any, you know, responsibility for that child. So I can't I can't go along with that. The, the Ohio Court of Appeals said... And this was last year. They said, if birth parents have the right to dictate that a child become a member of a particular church, which they do have that right in Ohio. Oh, gee. Then they should also have the right to dictate that a child not be a member of a church. Mm. One way of determining the child's religious affiliation is by saying that the child will have no religious affiliation. We're not talking foster parents. We're talking adopted parents. Yeah, that's not right. The parent, the, the birth parent doesn't want the responsibility of the child, so stay out of it. I, I, I think it's a very sweet thing when a birth parent and adopted parents are on the same page, that the, the child gets to know his birth mother, that he never is, it's never a mystery to, he, to, to the little child, boy or girl, and I don't mean to use he all the time, but it's never a mystery who, this is my mom and that's my birth mom. You know, and that's probably a good thing, I guess. You, you can express your opinion on this. I would love to hear from you. The num- the phone is open, by the way. I, I saw some calls trying to get through, and you're welcome to call. I just wanted to get the basis, the, the foundation of this out there. So I've done that, and you're welcome to call. The number is 622-9622, if you don't know. Um, well, anyway, so, and this is a discussion happening across the country. And in, in fact, across the world, uh, there was a story about parental privilege in um, Australia that said parental privilege goes a little bit too far uh, once a child is in school you have you have relinquished your rights as a parent and and therefore we should be allowed this is Australia now we should oh. be al- we should be allowed to deny your child the the um, the dessert you've put into his bag for lunch and, and by the way this happens here too yeah it just hasn't been official in any way yeah, exactly. No, I don't go for that. You give up your child, that means you don't love it and you don't want the responsibility to take care of it. So let the person that will love it and take responsibility for it. Good morning. You're on the air. What do you think? Hey, it's me, Tom. Hey, Tom. What What I think is, why tell the child they're adopted? What difference does it make? You're the, I mean, you now an older child that's been in foster care for a while is going to know, but uh, but a baby, when it's adopted as a baby, they don't need to know this. It's not important. Why give them that pain? No, I, I, I don't mean, disagree. It may, it may happen. They find out later in life that they were adopted, but you cross that bridge when you get to it. But initially, why make them wonder about it? I Just think. Let it go. Okay, I think, and, and I want to hear your opinion when you hear this part of it. I think. Well, first of all, I agree with you. Second, I think what they're talking about are the the, the circumstances where the 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 mother is pregnant and decides to give the baby up for adoption while she's pregnant, and and then right. and, and and then has a relationship with the, the 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 adopted parents that will be the adopted parents, and and together they're. They're going to church together, or, or they're going to lunch together. Whatever they're doing, they're getting to know each other. Then here, here come, then the, the adoptive parents are in the delivery room at the day of the birth. They remain friends after the birth, and and therefore they retain certain residual parental rights according to the state of Ohio. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's I don't consider that a really good law. I mean, once once the child once the once the birth parent has signed away their parental rights, they're gone. They're done. It's over. They, you know, I, I, it's in the best interest of the child. I it think so too. Has to be at the top of the list in the best interest of the child, and 
you know, if they've been adopted by good, you know, by into a good family, which they probably are, because you know these these people get investigated, you know, every which way from Sunday. The child doesn't need to know they're adopted. It doesn't. It's not. It's it's not a make or break issue there for them. They grow up who their parents are and their parents are, and if they find out when they're older, then the parents can sit down and explain that, you know, the mother at the time was incapable of raising them, and, and you know, because she loved them, gave them up for adoption to someone yeah. that could yeah. provide for them. I mean, you know, it's just... It's, it's not a like or dislike, or it, it, but it's a love of it's a, it's a gift of love from the from the biological mother, as opposed to you know an abandonment. It's not necessarily right, an right. abandonment. No, I don't disagree. I think I think I'm thinking the same way you are, Tom. All right, thank you. I appreciate I appreciate the call. All right, bye. bye. All right. All right. <laughs> like two conversations happening at once. I wasn't sure what was happening there. Uh, good morning. What do you think? Hey, good morning, guys. Um, <clears throat> well, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. You know, I, I it's going to be kind of difficult if I go to China and adopt a child and it doesn't, uh, and try to convince it that it's my natural child. But um, I, I think I, I see the guy's point about does the child need to know if it was adopted or not. But a good point is that I, I think is, uh, you know, not all children that are born are are planned okay believe it or not there's a lot of unplanned pregnancies out here and um but all birth uh, all adoptions are planned people who adopt children are uh, they wanted a child they really want a child they, mm. it's not because they just happen to get pregnant right, right. and uh so adopted children are you know theoretically are you know, more wanted uh, and, and I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that every child that's born isn't wanted. I'm just saying they're not all planned. Right, right. But uh, what do you, what do you, what do you think? A, what do you think about the birth parents' rights of de- determining well, the religious upbringing? Another, another law, another way the government gets into our our private business that they shouldn't be into it. I believe that uh, you know, if someone gives up their parental rights, they should give up all rights. All rights. If they give up the child, they give up all rights. They don't have any right to say how the child is raised, in what atmosphere. Um, it, it, it should be up to the adopting parents. Uh, you know, and like you said, it's not foster parents. We're talking about a full right. adoption as a right. member of our family type. Absolutely. And, um, so the government should keep their nose out of it and leave it to the individuals to, to make these decisions. Yeah, I'm. I'm not disagreeing today with our with our listeners, no, but uh, but point. thank you. I appreciate the call. Excellent point. Appreciate Sweet. the call. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, let's take a little break. We'll be right back. I want to hear from you. We'll be right back. <laughs> The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident for today. Intervals of clouds and sunshine. There'll be a shower and thunderstorm or two around the high 79 to 83. Hardly to mostly cloudy skies tonight, the low 60 well inland, but about 66 along the coast. Rather breezy at the coast as well. For tomorrow, partly sunny skies, the high 83 at the coast, 89 inland. For Friday, partly sunny with a chance for a shower, high 87 to 91. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Ah, ouch. Does pain have you glued to the couch? Yes, unfortunately it's true that every year we must get older, but that doesn't mean we have to deal with pain in our back, knees, or shoulder. If your muscles and joints are sore, don't worry anymore. Come get acupuncture from me and you'll be pain-free. Acupuncture starts as low as $35 at a Better You Healthcare. Call me, Dr. Erica Olstein, at 615-5566. Stop your pain from driving you insane what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. If your toddler seems to end up wearing more of their food than they eat, don't freak. Messy eaters, we now know. They tend to pick up languages more easily. Instead, our biggest dementia risk boils down to the foods we eat. Stay away from red meat, butter, sweets, and fried food. If you're trying to make a good impression on a man, do not worry about small flaws in your appearance like a chipped fingernail or a stain on your shirt because chances are he won't even notice. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff.
La Familia Pizzeria has moved into Ocala. Stop by today at 2504 Southeast 17th Street and see for yourself what everyone is talking about. Awesome place. I never get pizza anywhere else. Great New York style pizza and dishes. Best pizza in Ocala. One trip and you too will agree La Familia Pizzeria is the best. La Familia Pizzeria. Stop by for a pizza that you'll love or call in and order yours for pickup. 352-245-2419. La Familia Pizzeria. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com. Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offered in unclean dealer charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. One of the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking, will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Pozanetti. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, the source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. All right, nine minutes before 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. We're talking about residual parental rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Uh, and uh, this, I just looked it up. I guess this is not only true in Ohio, but it's true in Virginia, and I'm not really sure of the other states. But it includes the right of the birth parents, parents, plural, f- mother and father, to have a say-so in, in the religious upbringing of the child who has now been adopted. Uh, residual parental rights, I'm reading this now from the kind of the definition of it, Resi- residual parental rights, privileges, and responsibilities are those rights, privileges, and responsibilities remaining with a natural parent after the transfer of legal custody of a child. Mm-mm-mm-mm. So, uh, and, and, now, and now they're arguing uh, whether the statement that says it includes um, the right to visit the right to, um, the, the privilege to determine a child's religious affiliation, and now they're saying, or non-affiliation, non-religious affiliation. So if you want your child to be, you're not there. You're no. not in the home. No. Uh, and maybe you're visiting every now and then, or maybe you're visiting a lot. I guess it all depends. But I, I, um, I just really have an issue with this mm-hmm. one. It just troubles me. You're still visiting. You're not taking the responsibility of raising the child. I mean, I mean, you would, you you're would, thi- you would think. Okay, so, so, okay. If this was the law, if I was in Ohio, put it this way. Yeah. And l- let's say I was trying to help a, a young woman who was pregnant, and she was going to, and she's looking for a, a, a family. Mm-hmm. to to um, raise her child when it's born. That's what I would say. You, you've got to really get to know each other. They've got to get to know you. You've got to get to know them. And this is not just anymore about those people and that baby. It's about those people, that baby, and that baby's birth mother. And and apparently the birth father, too. And birth too. father, and I'm glad. The father should not be left out. Okay, you're glad about that. But what if the father says, I want him to be a Branch Davidian or whatever, some kind of a nutty cult? No, because he's not there, and and the birth mother's not there. They're not taking the responsibility to be there every day, every second, through thick and thin, to raise that child. Like you said, they're just visiting. They're not taking parental. They're, they're not a parent. Now, you want, you want to hear how this goes even crazier? There was a child born. Let me find it. I had it in here. Um, this is a, lot of work a, a, to be a, a, a child born March 7th, 2012. They, they, they identified the baby as TK. TK was born positive. He tested positive for marijuana in his system. Mm-hmm. That means the mother smoked marijuana while she was pregnant with him, right? Exactly. Uh, I don't know what state this is. Summit County Children's Services initiated proceedings in juvenile court based on allegations of abuse and dependency based on the positive reading of the marijuana in his system. The parent, uh, anyway, they removed the child and agreed to TK's placement in the emergency temporary custody of maternal grandparents. So they took the child away from the mother, and long story short, they 
um, put the child with the grandparents Mm -hmm. because of marijuana in the child system. Now, maybe there was more to that story, but that's what the that's what the thing said. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's just assume this is the case. So now the adopted parents are the grandparents. Mm -hmm. Okay, so their daughter now. If it's in Virginia or Ohio, and I don't know what other states, but the states that have this thing called residual parental rights, Mm -hmm. if grandma decides to raise the child as a Catholic and and their daughter says, no, I I don't want any religion at all, then grandma and grandpa are supposed to abide by that. Yeah, that's not right. It's not right. The daughter's not taking responsibility. It's tough to be a parent. You gotta be there every second. The residual parental rights of a parent, a biological parent, can be terminated by a court by separate petition. But without that petition, there is no separation of rights. A court can terminate residual parental rights of one parent without affecting the rights of the other parent. So they can take it away from the father and not the mother. An order terminating residual parental rights must be accompanied by an order continuing or granting custody to a local board or so of social services, to a licensed child placing agency, or the granting of custody or guardianship to a relative or other interested individual. Got government written all over it. Wow. Is this this is a crazy world that we're living in? Yeah, very. I, I actually thought it was sweet the other day when we were listening to the woman and she was talking about the fact that she is has a good relationship with the people who adopted her son. Her son. Mm -hmm. She seemed a little bit put out when you asked about the baby's biological father. She didn't seem like she was really happy with that question. Yeah, that's okay. But is he in the picture? Is well, you wanted to know. know, Exactly. Is he part of the picture? Right. Uh, All right. Well, if you have an opinion on this, I would love to hear from you. Six two two nine six two two. I know the phone was ringing during the break, but did they? Oh, they didn't stay. No, no. Good morning out there. How you doing? Okay, yeah, no, if you're if you're going to be a parent, you're going to be a parent all the time, not just part-time. Oh, here I am. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. I'll see you later. Bye. No, no, you got to be there the whole time through all the tears and all the laughter, heartache, and, and all the fun things. Uh, anyway, so visitor. I guess, I guess, oh, there's too many, too many different case, cases here that I, I'm just getting confused on reading any of them to you at all. Anyway, uh, if you Google it, you'll find all kinds of stories about residual parental rights, uh, termination of residual parent, parental rights. Uh, let's see if there's anything in Florida specifically. Oh, okay. This is a good thing. Okay. Just real quickly. Residual parental rights in Florida. So that means if you're going to adopt, you better have everything written that you can think of in that contract. Okay, in Florida, it says um, that if there are grounds for the termination of parental rights, they may be established under any of the following circumstances, and it goes on and on and on. Oh. But I think that's just simply taking, wow, it's a huge list, too. Oh, gosh. Let me go to the phone. Good, oh, I'm sorry. Good morning. You're on the air. What do you think? Good morning. Good morning, Larry and Robin. This is Bishop Jackson calling again. How are you this morning? Good. How are you? Outstanding. Um, I'm going to speak to the uh, situation that you guys were talking about with the parental rights stuff and the uh, adoption and and the religion type of a thing. Coming to you as a clergyman, coming to you as one who was adopted, um, I didn't know who my birth parents were. I was one of nine children, and... I was adopted by a lovely couple who could not have children uh, from several months old, and I grew up as an only child. Uh, I heard the gentleman, I think, I believe his name was Tom, was speaking about that they should not know. I'm standing on the other side of that because when I discovered that I had a lot of other siblings, having grown up as an only child and having embraced the challenges of an only child, I became very bitter hmm. and uh, ended up becoming, uh, as, as they used to say back in those days, uh, a juvenile delinquent, if you will. Right. And uh, it took a long time to make certain adjustments because I had to embrace the idea that I wasn't wanted. There were a lot of uh, wow. communication Bishop, going back Bishop, and forth. I, need, I, need, I don't mean to be rude, but we, we're up against the clock. I appreciate the call so much. I wish we had gotten you on the air sooner. Thank you for calling, though. Have a great day, sir. Thank you. We'll be right back. This is WOCA Ocala. 
Fox News Radio, I'm Pat O'Neill. Federal investigators are looking into whether ISIS played a role in Sunday's shooting at Garland, Texas.